Hello everyone, welcome to the Sea of Fortune. I am Phoenix61, your host for tonight. We're playing World of Warships Legends. We're rocking the Azure this evening. And in all of Phoenix61 fashion, I'm going to go ahead and complain about spawning in the middle spawn. Because <laughs> we don't know. We know, I'm always so indecisive is part of the problem, right? But So I tried to take a different route this time, um, as opposed to going, you know, left side or right side, right? So, eyeing up what we're up against, so we are tier 8, and it does look like there's some legendary tiers in here. Um, so I'm actually going to go, not necessarily go in for the capture at um, zone B, but I'm going to go in, I'm going to move in like I'm going to support it, right? And then, of course, like my um, destroyer buddy, who's in our division, decides not to. He's like, I don't like going in there. I always die. <laughs> I was like, I want to support you this time, but no, yeah. Um, but so we're going to head towards, a lot of times what I'm doing in a cruiser is I'm heading towards the first, you know, one of the very nearby chunks of island or land, whatever you want to call it, right? So to give yourself some sort of cover from one side of the map or the other, right? So I'll head towards this, you know, this left side here, um, and then we'll be able to kind of shoot out across B and then possibly potentially support zone A as well um, by kind of shooting over the mountains here and then there's actually not too many places we can get spotted from um, you know until we get spotted right here right so like this whoever's spotting us is probably right in front of us right so um, and there's not even a, if that's the case if it's a destroyer there's not even a torpedo angle there for for him to be had so um, okay yeah it's a, might, might have been this conqueror um, so we'll take a shot at this Conqueror, that's pretty good, that's a pretty sweet angle. And I'll actually use the damage count on the double fire here. Um, we did see one destroyer has already popped, one enemy destroyer has already popped up over by A. If there's one in this, you know, coming in for B, I'm confident that we're not, we're not out in the open enough to take torpedo hits, right? Plus we do have sonar um, that we can trigger if, if we suspect something, right? Take shots, Chrome Shot. Got a, didn't get as much as I was hoping against that Conqueror, but three, you know, 3,200. And then same thing there. <laughs> but yeah, so that like this would be ideal if we had a destroyer to help cap this zone and we could support. And we're getting picked up again. It's probably the Kronstadt. Still have their their other enemy destroyer. Still hasn't been uh, picked up yet. There we go. That's a better hit. That's what we've been looking for. Oh, and of course he's going to turn broadside for us. How oh, nice. We will take advantage here. Come on, baby. And of course then, yeah, we get, I didn't lead him enough, but that <laughs> still, still was pretty, pretty pitiful of a, of a hit there. All right, there's their other enemy destroyers over at sea. So if we get some, some clearing happening here, we might be able to go in and, and cap this zone just now that we know kind of where their destroyers are hanging out. There we go, Citadel. Man, Citadel and three over pens, like, come on. Come on. But yeah, this is great. Like this, these shots here across, like the, I, this, you know, the folks over at Zone A just kind of unsuspecting, right? So I took that. It's probably gonna hit the land. <laughs> the little uh, island symbol that shows up, right? You know that means you're gonna hit ground. You're gonna hit island. You're gonna hit land. Whatever. Um, but it, it always takes it a second to pop up when you aim in, right? So I, I'm like 90% of the time, I don't have the patience. I just see that it's not there, and I pull the trigger, right? So, all right, so we're not really being challenged here in this zone. I don't have too much threats, too many threats to us, right? So we'll move into the zone and see if we can't keep picking on this Kronstadt. And we still, like, because of where we are, he's not picking us up, right? There's, there's a little chunk of uh, land in between us, so he doesn't have line of sight on us, for the time being, anyway. And then since we haven't moved out, nobody over at sea spotting us, right? So we're 
technically kind of sort of maybe losing. I mean, we're down on points and down one ship, but things are looking good for good old Phoenix 6-1, though. <laughs> Let's see if we can't finish off the crunch that. I feel like we've shot at him enough to have killed him like twice now, and we're just... Oh my gosh, you gotta be kidding me! Nothing? Nothing with that. <laughs> I only if somebody else hasn't gotten him. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> like, what's going on? Alright, so we got the zone. We were able to sneak in and get the zone without anybody picking on us that whole time. Take another shot at this Conqueror. He looks like he's moving kind of quick, so it'll lead a little bit more. And, ooh, we got a cruiser out there, too. And this main... This main will wreck us if uh, he wants to decides to shoot at us, so we gotta be careful here. Yeah, he's looking this way. Oh, somebody hit him good though. Do that again. But we too can hurt him pretty decent. Oops, a little bit of a chunk. Oh man, I'd like to be able to get this rear turret, and I was hoping to be. To move into unspotted too, but I'm wondering if they're destroyers over here somewhere picking us up now. And then um, we also have caught the attention of the uh, enemies over in A. <laughs> oh, I lost my division. Alright, we'll go a little bit more on the defensive here. Uh, we've got, you know, our remaining three battleships are all over at sea, right? So... I kind of, it's, I, I want to do the smart play here and back up and give them some time to get them over here to help me, right? Like, I don't want to give up this zone in case this game comes down to points. Hopefully they can get the cap on C, but it looks like they're getting reset a lot. There we go, two Citadel hits on that main, look at that. That's kind of action we want out of this ship. That was a good chunk of damage. Oh, and somebody, nice. Nice. All right, we, I hate it when I'm a cruiser and I'm the one that needs to do the spotting. <laughs> yeah, no kidding, I'm gonna defend the zone. Uh, but we do have, we still have sonar. I haven't used any sonar yet. And then you do get either six or eight kilometer torpedoes with this ship. So if somebody wants to come through this little crevice here, uh, we'd be able to, uh, put up a fight at least. But yeah, the three battleships all the way on the other side of the map. The only thing I don't know is where the destroyer went that was at sea on their team. And then we're located now, so somebody we're the closest person to uh, this particular enemy ship wherever he is. Oh, we got a Napoli. Can our torps get through there? Get him off. Just in case he turns in. And then we'll slam the brakes here. And we triggered Sonar, I think, pretty sure he's got torpedoes. Um, ooh, did, did that Sonar pick up the... Ooh, yeah, 5.7 range uh, Sonar, so we picked up that uh, Shimkazi out there, too. Sweet deal, that's awesome, just knowing that he's over there. Oh, man, are those torps gonna get through there? I think they're past him now. Yeah, it's gonna come in, though. Alright, this is gonna be... This is gonna be a rough fight. The tier 8 versus the star versus the legendary. See if we can get some. Oh, hell yes. I'm always nervous when I take those shots. I feel like I get ricochets just like so bad. <clears throat> and then, yep, here come his torpedoes. So that sonar is saving us there. And I doubt we can. I just. I, I'm always hesitant to when they're face on to shoot them right in the pointy part of the hull. Yep, here's Shimakaze Torps. Almost forgot about him. Sonar saves our lives again. And he's gonna turn for us so we should be able to finish him off if somebody else doesn't. But the downside of having torpedoes is a lot of people want to turn broadside to use said torpedoes and it sometimes is the end of them, right? So that's what <laughs> Three battleships plus myself were able to shoot at him while he tried to turn to just to use those, right? So the other destroyer must have just hung out by his own C uh, to try and and wait for that zone to open up so he could steal it back, I guess. Uh, but now we're up on points. I mean, we're decent. We can put up a decent fight against um, 
battleships, right? And I'm the closest one to this zone, so we can, you know, like, it's always tough what to do in this situation. Like, do I go after those destroyers and trust my trusty blue teammate battleships to finish off the other battleships? Um, but, so sometimes the other thing, too, is like, you know, I'm not, like, yeah, I like to win, but also I, I just like to have a fun, good game, too. Like, I play this game because it's fun, not because I want to win and do the best and be the best every time. Um, so I want to go after these battleships, right? I want to put up this fight. I want to see where they went. We're getting who the frick has radar? Oh, there's a Giuseppe Verde. So we've got to be probably nine-ish kilometers. He's got to be somewhat close. So we might be able to um, sneak into this zone. He's like broadside to us right now too. He just showed up on the map for I guess a second. We might be able to wreck him pretty good. We'll see. He's also going to wreck us pretty good. Giuseppe Verde, I like that ship. We, we have a secondary build on it because that's just the SAP rounds. Oh, yes. Give it to us. Give me some. Give me some more than that. Come on. <laughs> yeah, here comes his shot. Oh, man. Takes out a turret. We didn't need that. I'm damage conning it because like he's he's using AP on us. Destroyer's not over here. Let's see if we can get our torps off on him. He's gonna run into that land, so we'll fire just before the land. You know, you know what I mean. You saw where I fired. You know what I'm talking about. If we can finish him off beforehand though, because I'm I'm worried if he gets another shot. We're gonna turn in as much as we can to try and mitigate damage. And we got a battleship behind us here. I'm going to prioritize getting this kill over capping that zone, so we'll, we'll move. You know, if, we, if I would have tried to cap that zone and muscle it out, we did not hit him with that single torpedo. This is BS. Um, if I prioritized staying in that zone and trying to suck it up like a man, we, we would be angled too poorly, right? So, uh, But with the help of the battleship behind us on our team, we managed to uh, get rid of him, and then he should be able to cap that zone, and then we'll venture out, see if we can't spot for our team. Um, they still have their destroyer. Oh, they, they got rid of the other destroyer, though. Somebody... Battleship must have won. I just don't know how you, like... I guess you, you kind of have to screw up if, you know, depending on which destroyer you are, but you kind of have to screw up if there's only three battleships left and you're a destroyer. Like, why are you getting spotted? <laughs> Alright, there's Conqueror. Alright. This game is ours. This belongs to us. It's ours to screw up. <laughs> we'll wait for the little island to go away. The island symbol to go away. Oh, now we're probably going to have to pop around the corner to actually get the spot on him. There he is. He's not even looking at us, so we don't have to worry about uh, our, our angle situation. That Shimikaze's got to be out here somewhere. Oof. So I'm gonna like try and turn away, and I probably should have tried to turn in. <laughs> but thankfully, he's a conqueror and he's shooting HE shells. Uh, we'll switch back to AP. Of course, now he's gonna realign his own angle. Oh man, that was pretty. Uh, that was a pretty good hit for HE shells. Except, were we gonna burn to death? No, we should. Uh, uh, I think we might survive if we don't take any more hits. Shoot the other guy. Stop shooting us. <laughs> All right, here we go. Is this gonna be our last salvo? Well, we're not gonna burn to death, but luckily he missed us with that other. Uh, oh, come on, give us that. Come on. There, yeah, burned. <laughs> I didn't think we would burn. 162,000 damage. We'll. Um, this will be the rare scenario where I actually watch and see how this game plays out, right? Like, normally I'm just like, bye, done, see ya. <laughs> that one's, we're gonna win that one or we're gonna lose that one, right? Yeah. But I'm kinda curious just cause, curious if that destroyer, that Shimikaze is gonna pop back up with like a torpedo salvo against our last battleship here. Just waiting for the like, like that'd be a sweet comeback game for them, right? Like if they, <laughs> If he was able to finish off this battleship. 
Because they're down on points. Yeah. He needs the kill for the win. Not a nowhere to be found. Nice. We'll see where we end up on the leaderboard for this one. I don't play as the Azure too much. Um, I think we were playing through um, all of our tier 8s and legendaries to get the uh, winter crates uh, at the time of filming for this one. Yep. Awesome Blossom. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, we will have, you know, if you um, if you enjoyed the video, please uh, push the like button. If you hated the video, obviously don't do that. That doesn't make sense. Uh, but please do subscribe to the channel if you're enjoying World of Warships video commentary from Phoenix61. Um, I am putting out videos every single day for the most part. Um, occasionally one less, occasionally one more, you know, whatever. <laughs> uh, but we will see you tomorrow.